Hi, I'm Tracy, VE3TWM, here with my friend Tom, VA3WVA. We're out here at the park today. We have an interesting test that I've been looking forward to doing for a little while, and that is using my new drone. My offspring gave me this for Christmas, uh, but the weather's been wintry and not good here in Canada, so it's finally opening up, a little bit of spring-like weather, and uh, a good opportunity to get the drone out. So Tom, this is a DJI Neo. So this is a very inexpensive drone, sells for about 200 US dollars, uh, but it's extremely lightweight. I think it weighs something like 128 grams. What we're going to try to do today is use it to get a line over a tree so we can raise a wire antenna. What do you think, Tom? Are we going to be able to make this happen? I think it's a fantastic idea. Uh, we have uh, cordage attached and we're going to give it a try. Um, yes, we have concern that the drone may get snagged in the tree. Yeah. But uh, we'll see what's going to happen. Uh, like I said, we have nothing to lose except the drone. so. We'll see how it goes. Now let's just take a quick look at how we fastened the line. So this is 275 paracord and we've just taken some good old red green style duct tape and duct taped it to the bottom here. Now in case the 275 is too heavy for the drone, I wanted to come up with a more lightweight option and the first thing that came to my mind was mylar balloons. And what did they use? They use ribbon. To, uh, to hold those suckers without applying a lot of weight so that they could actually float. And uh, I, I spared no expense. I got the high quality stuff. The lady at the dollar store told me that this was in fact the most aerodynamic version that they had. So we're gonna give this a try. Tom, let's uh, let's hook up a drone and see if we can get uh, a wire yeah, antenna. We're up. definitely gonna try it except for the, the, the tape or the ribbon. Uh, we, we have to see you know what's gonna happen because it has definitely a larger surface than the paracord so that's my concern that once it's became very long the surface of it gonna grow and that's gonna eventually make drone uh, more prone to the to the wind wind gusts that's that's my only concern yeah. but anyway let's let's give it a try whoever finds it later gonna be lucky <laughs> let's hope it doesn't come to that Okay, so what are you thinking, Tom? I don't know what to tell you. It's uh, it's not going to end well, but See? let's try. <laughs> okay, Tom and I, we've been back and forth, looking at trees, you know, changing our mind on things. This uh, Charlie Brown Christmas tree type thing behind me, I think is a good candidate. Uh, I don't want to lose the drone. I'm really just trying to prove that this thing can actually lift the cord up or whatever we're going to be lifting, whether it's the cord or the ribbon. And I think this one is, gives us the best shot of doing it. It is like right here. Uh, I, I guess it's time to try, Tom. Any? Yeah, I think it's a, it's a proof of concept at this point. So we don't know if we're going to even use it as an antenna. So let's just see if we can make a hop past that branch. And... Yeah. Whoops, okay. Well, so far so good holding the line up. How far we can go in the... Oh, impressive. Whoa! And we were afraid that it's gonna get snagged, guess what? Yeah, you and me both, okay. Can you bring it up? Hang on a sec here. Something's acting odd. The drone is... Here. Is it? <laughs> Just lower it. Not 
try to try to get up. Full power. Ah, that's not. Go over there yeah, and then bring it up. A little bit more. This direction. Get it closer to yourself, like it's stuck here. Okay, now, oh, okay, very, ah, uh, another branch. Lower, 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 lower. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that, that was spectacular. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Tom, that was interesting. Yes, it was. Like, I mean, we achieved our objective. The, the cable got thrown over that tree. The drone crashed after, and I'm suspecting that because it figured out that it could not move freely, it sort of dis decided to trigger some safety procedure. But again, I know nothing about drones, so it's a, it's a speculation. And, and from my perspective, being the, uh, the, the operator of the drone, I'm still learning to fly this thing. And as a result, uh, you know, I left, right, uh, up, down, uh, I'm still struggling. But what I did notice was once the drone got up to a certain height, which was well above the tree, probably had to, you know, well, this tree is, I don't know, Tom, what do you figure? That's about uh, 16 feet tall. Yeah, uh, maybe five five meters, yeah, yeah okay. something like that. So we had the drone up probably 24, 25 feet. Uh-huh. Uh, and, and all of a sudden, it, it just started drifting off, and it wasn't wind. It was just something else was going on. It just started drifting off by its own, and then eventually came down uh, just over here. Fortunately, it didn't get the the... the line all tangled up in other trees so we were able to retrieve the drone fairly easily well tom and i weren't happy with the first attempt in the tiny little tree we took another shot over this skinny tree here and we've got that thing up i don't know 40 feet or so tom no it's easily 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 10 meters now we're using the ribbon here and not the 275 pa uh, paracord. And what the idea was, was to get the drone up high enough, literally half or twice the size of the tree, so that we could fly the drone over, even if it got snagged, it would then come down and get to the ground. So we got the drone back, we've got the line up at that 40 foot mark, Ah, uh, holy mackerel, this uh, a little bit of perseverance and a little bit of learning to uh, use this stuff uh, has paid off. Okay, well we've got a line in the tree, which means we can now get our antenna set up. Okay, CQCQ for the Missouri QS operator, this is November 0, Sugar Sugar. Uh, VA3, WBA, QRP. You are 5959, and the county is OSA. QCQ, Missouri QSO party, Whiskey Zero Whiskey. Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey Mike. Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey Mike. Hey, is this um, uh, YouTube, YouTube videos? I mean, I forgot your name. Um, uh, I can't remember. Name's Tracy, and it's nice to make a contact with you. Yeah, Tracy. Yeah, yeah, very good. Yeah, uh, this is Kyle, AA0Z. I don't know if you've seen my YouTube channel, but uh, yeah. Uh, thanks for uh, calling me, Tracy. Appreciate it. Uh, Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey Mike. You're 5'9", Crawford County, Missouri. Hey, it's, we got a 5'9 coming back to you from Ontario. Kyle, of course I know who you are, and uh, I do watch your videos as well, so it's really nice to make a contact with you. Yeah, very good. Thanks, Ter uh, Terry. <laughs> thanks for the, uh, the contact, and uh, 73, we'll see you later. Okay, 73, good luck. Thank you, Missouri. Oh, Missouri there party. Whiskey Zero, Zulu Alpha Charlie. Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey Mike. Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey, Whiskey Mike. USL, QSL, 5-9 Ontario. Tracy, thank you, sir. 
Ontario. I watch your videos all the time. <laughs> I appreciate that 5.9 Ontario. You are 5.9 in Lima Alpha Whiskey. Well, thank you very much, and it's a pleasure to make a contact with you. I wish you good luck. Hey, thank you very much. Are you uh, recording a video today, or what's, uh, what's on the table? No, I, 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 I am, and a 705 is uh, on the table, and that's what I'm contacting you with. All right. Well, Tracy, I sure appreciate the contact. It's a pleasure to work you. 73, sir. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Thanks so much. Really appreciate it, and uh, looking forward to our next contact already. Uh, 73 from Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey Mike. 7373, enjoy your afternoon. Whiskey Zero, Zulu Alpha Charlie, QRZ for the Missouri QSO party. Uh, have you ever had an experience like this before? Uh, have you ever used a drone and uh, had something unusual happen? Has it worked flawlessly for you? Please uh, give us your thoughts and any experiences in the comments below. Looking forward to reading those. That's all for this time. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn. Get out of the shack, get outdoors, and get on the air. 73 from Tracy, VE3 TWM, and Tom, VA3 uh, WBA.